right. Is there an average length of stay in a juvenile detention facility? That's another question from a viewer. A, a juvenile detention facility. A juvenile court is different than adult court in our time frame. We are fast. Mm -hmm. uh, a juvenile, um, once he's arrested, has to be brought in within 72 hours to the continued custody hearing. Adult, it's the same thing for the, the, uh, for the bond hearing. At this point, it changes. District Attorney's Office has 48 hours to file a petition to accept or refuse charges on that juvenile held in detention. An adult court, uh, 60 days. Juvenile court, after that 48 hours, they must be brought in for answer, which is the equivalent of adult arraignment within 15 days. Adult court, 30 days. At that point, it's set for trial. Juvenile court, if it's a crime and it's a property crime, it will be set for trial in 30 days. If it's a crime of violence, it has to be set within 60 days. Okay. Adult court, 120 days. The gist of it is, if you are a juvenile and you are arrested and it's not a crime of violence, you will be tried before the district attorney's office in an adult case has to even decide whether to accept charges or not. So it does move very fast. It moves fast. It does, yeah. Because the court is aware, and everyone is aware, the longer they're there, the worse they're going to be. Well,